University of California scientists working at the Los Alamos National Laboratory have developed a novel method for detecting fingerprints that may someday expand forensic investigations. Analytical chemist Christopher Worley says the technology detects chemical elements left in fingerprint residue, such as salts excreted in sweat. The method is called micro X-ray fluorescence, or MXRF. So what we're using is X-rays, and they're invisible. But what we do is we take a a tiny, thin beam of X-rays, probably the diameter of on the order of a human hair, and hit the surface with this X-ray beam. And then from the spot that's hit with the beam, it emits X-rays from the chemical elements present in that spot. So we can determine by collecting the emitted X-rays、uh, what elements were present in that spot. For example, potassium. You then move that spot across the surface, and you get the distribution of whatever elements are present, like potassium, across the surface. So. Potassium chloride, for instance, in fingerprints is found along the fingerprint pattern, and we actually see that pattern based off of the emission of potassium X-rays from the fingerprint pattern. This method can also detect additional information. This method would not only see a fingerprint; it would detect elements present in the print, such as potassium and sulfur, that might indicate, well, maybe they've been handling gunpowder. So it gives you this extra. Chemical information that they didn't otherwise have. Current fingerprint detection technology depends on treating fingerprints with different chemicals that help bring out prints against the color of the surface it's located on. But this method can sometimes be problematic. Certain surfaces are known to be more difficult to detect fingerprints with the current methods. For example, prints left on homicide victims' skin are hard to detect with current methods.、Um, Prints present on dark, multicolored type surfaces are another example, and so this method gives a new alternative to potentially detect fingerprints based off of those chemical elements that are already present in the print on some of those more difficult surfaces. The MXRF technique has limitations right now, but what we're doing here is is just a, a preliminary study to show it's even possible to do, and certainly with enough funding and 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 Development work, I, I can see us improving this to the point where we start using it routinely in, in labs. For Science Today, I'm Larissa Brannon.